Hey. Hey, it's our grad, and today we're going to talk about using a guitar or guitar samples or just audio in general to create glitchy synth patterns. So without further ado, first I'm just going to track a guitar melody I happen to like, but this could go with any audio file of any melody um, that you like. I would recommend picking a melody that is more of like harmonious thing, so like lots of notes lots of things happening all at once. Whatever, I messed up, but we won't even use the whole thing. By the way, if you like that guitar tone, I have a tutorial on it. It's literally just a, a guitar rig preset, but the people needed to know about that preset, so... The real first trick is you can take any audio file and convert it to MIDI and it ends up kind of like messed up and like glitchy and that's what you want. So um, take your audio file, right click and convert not melody but harmony to new MIDI track. Okay, now once you've done that, you'll hear this. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm just going to change that from an E piano to a sine key. I think everybody has this. Already sounds like some super Radiohead, early computer music inspired. Yeah, very cool. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to find, like, a vinyl noise. I want something that's not um, just, like, a solid tone, like a solid hiss. I want something that changes over time. So let's just listen. I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to put it in an audio channel um, just beneath our sign keys. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new audio track. And my voice just cut out. Actually, so I'm going to create a new audio track, and I'm actually just going to resample these together into this new audio track. So let's resample them together. You want the noise to be baked into the audio of this MIDI. So resampling here. Okay. But the key is just to kind of find the moments where the notes happen. Or you could even just quantize it. So, like, you've got stuff happening all at a time because it came from a non-metronome recorded strumming pattern, right? So if we just uh, go to our quantize settings and go to, like, I don't know, mm, fourth, turn that up. Now we're going to like be stretching certain certain parts more than others and it's going to like create this really like uh the other thing I did to like make this sound cool is just to run it through guitar rig so any synth ran through a guitar rig just adds like this it's kind of filthy you'll see Here's a preset I made in my previous video. That's basically the technique, the same technique I used to make this. But if you want to stick around, I'm about to take this Midwest emo hyper pop type beat guitar loop and, uh, just try and see what it sounds like. So here's this loop I found on Splice. <laughs> so I'm. if you want to stick around, the little bonus bit is going to be, what's this breakance type beat <laughs> guitar loop sound like with this technique done to it? All right, and here's our final result of the weird experiment Splice sample. Sounds pretty sick. All right. I'll catch you all later.